Prince Harry declined to respond to a royal reporting debate invite being invited by the same people who have lied about him who have lied about his wife Meghan to come to debate to speak to them about what they call the future of royal reporting people who have hounded bullied his wife Meghan to the point that Meghan wanted contemplated to take her own life they wanted Harry to show up at their event at their royal reporting event my family my 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 this is so so shameless from the carnival of so called expert how can you bully abuse a man harry and his wife megan and then expect him to show up to attend your event dubbed the future of royal reporting i mean have they no shame have the carnival of so called experts no shame clearly my family clearly they have no shame clearly my family now here is what actually happened now prince harry declined to respond to an invite to take part in a debate about the future of raw reporting at a media forum conference the panel's moderator has claimed the panel's moderator has claimed and that moderator so happens to be camilla tomene is a liar you can't make this up you can't make this up you can't make this up this actually happened my family a liar camilla tomene who prince harry in his memoir said in his own words this so called correspondent who lied about you know megan making kid cry and always made harry ill because she always got things wrong however harry did not mention camilla tomene is a liar's name however clearly she was the one whom harry was talking about and that liar that liar actually tried to invite harry to the event my family i have always told you these people are so so desperate to for harry to speak to them for megan to speak to them for harry and megan to engage with them they are so desperate to have that back my family other members of the royal family they have a relationship with the tabloid press these members like camilla charles kate and william have parties with the press they wine and dine with the carnival of so called experts in exchange for getting good press they also leak against harry and megan to get good press that's what william charles camilla kate that's what they do to carry favor with the uk tabloid press aside from inviting them for parties that the palace throws for the carnival of so called experts people like camilla tomene is a liar who lie constantly about harry and megan my family to have the audacity i try to invite harry to this event and the person who happens to moderate that event camilla tomene is a liar my family going on record 
saying that they tried to have Harry there. <laughs> My family, this is too, too much. Too, too much. It's too shameless. It's too, too shameless. You know? My family, hear this. The associate editor at the Telegraph, Camilla Tomini, is a liar. Open a discussion at the Society of Editors Media Freedom Conference in London on Wednesday by telling the audience that Prince Harry did not respond to a request for participation. My family, this society of editors, for instance, one person who was in charge of it all, he resigned after going on TV and saying that, you know what, the tablets are not racist, the press is not bigoted. And after people of color in journalism said, hey, look, that's not true. The press is bigoted. Indeed, very true. And indeed, there is racism. We can see that from the UK tabloids. After that, you know, one member of the Society of Editors had to resign, my family. And my family, after many UK journalists disagreed with the Society of Editors claim that UK media is not racist. They actually had to withdraw that claim. The Society of Editors had to withdraw claims that the UK media is not racist after journalists confronted them about it, my family, after that happened, right after the Oprah Winfrey interview with Harry and Meghan. And the ad, Ian Murray at the time, I remember, that's his name, resigned after claiming UK media is not racist or bigoted. In the wake of, you know, the Prince Harry and Meghan interview with Oprah Winfrey. And my family, that same, same society, society of editors actually tried to get Harry at their conference. People who abuse, insult, hound Harry every day for the past six years. People who are actually responsible for intruding into Harry's life wanted him to attend an event to discuss something at the Society of Editors Media Freedom Conference to discuss the future of raw reporting. Do you see how hypocritical that is? How shameless the carnival of so-called experts like Camilla Tomene is a liar. Truly, truly are. It's shameful. They're shameless. My family, why would Harry come there? Attend an event with Camilla Tomene is a liar who lied that Megan made Kate cry. Who lied about that? How do you even think that that is possible? How? And as I've always said, it's clear what the media truly really want is access to Harry, is access to Meghan Markle, is access to their kids, Archie and Lilibet. But most importantly, they want access back to Prince Harry. They want access to him, to his life. That's what they want, my family. They can't stand that they lost Prince Harry by their own actions because never did they imagine in their bullying of Meghan Markle that Harry would leave the UK with his wife and son. Never. My family, 
And this same, same Camilla Tomeni Zalaya, actually in the past, called the water board at Montecito in California. My family, just to demand answers, to ask whether or not Harry and Meghan are getting water for their lawns. That same Camilla Tomeni Zalaya thinks that Harry would attend an event with the Society of Editors, people who we've had on the carnival of so-called experts themselves saying that the palace had made a deal with editors to protect William and Kimilton. However, for Harry and Meghan, anyone, any carnival of so-called expert could write anything that they wanted. But still, in the mind of Camilla Twain is a liar, in the mind of the Society of Editors, they really thought that Harry would come to the event, would attend the debate about the future of royal reporting. People who have abused him and his wife, people who have lied about him and his wife, and come and sit next to them or even zoom call with them my family first of all what they are showing is just how shameless they are my family how desperate they are to try and establish a connection to Harry to get her to speak to them Camilla is a liar if Harry did say he's coming Camilla would say, you know, Prince Harry is my source. Guess what? I have access to Prince Harry. That's what they love to do. That's what they love to say, my family. And I'm happy that Harry will not entertain sitting next to people who have abused him, bullied him, lied about him, and his wife Meghan Markle. My family, Harry, will not entertain that. I'm happy about that, that Harry will not entertain those shenanigans of the UK media. My family, the audacity. Just reading this part makes me sick. I mean, the Telegraph's Camilla Tomene opened a discussion at the Society of Editors Media Freedom Conference in London on Wednesday by telling the audience Prince Harry did not respond to a request for participation. Camilla Tomeni is a liar of all people. You know? It makes me sick to see that they try to get Harry here. In an event hosted by the Society of Editors, people who are responsible for the vile column from Jeremy Clarkson. People who greenlit, permitted Jeremy Clarkson to publish those vile column about Meghan. Wanted Harry to attend the event to discuss the future of raw reporting. The editors, you can't make this stuff up. It actually happened. And I'm like this because even I'm in disbelief. <laughs> I don't believe it. The audacity. The audacity that they have. The shamelessness that they keep on showing. I mean, it's too much. It's too much. I mean, my family, just hear this. The panel, which included role editors from the Daily Mirror, the Sunday Times, discussed a number of criticism. Harry made about the media in his tell-all book spare. So you have the mirror, Sunday Times. All of them who lie about Harry and Meghan, you know? I recall even the Times. That was where the royal family spoke to a carnival of so-called expert called, you know, what's his name? This person who sent a threat to Meghan Markle. Who sent a threat to Meghan Markle. His name is 
what's his name? The one who came up with those fake, bogus bullying allegations against Meghan Markle. Valentine Law. Yes, that's his name. Valentine Law. My family, why would Harry sit down there with people like that? My family. Why would Harry sit there? Or at a Zoom call, let's say, with Camilla Tomini is a liar being the host of that, you know, debate. <laughs> Camilla Tomini is a liar, the host of that event. <laughs> and they're asking Harry to be there. You can't make this stuff up. It did happen because the first thing that Camilla Tomini is a liar went up to say, as she opened the panel discussion is, and I quote, we did invite Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, to take part in this panel, but he declined to respond. Of course he declined. He won't sit there next to Camilla Tobin is a liar, someone who lied that a black woman had made white Kate cry and tell them how to report fairly. Harry won't do that with you. Harry knows all of you are liars. Harry knows the pain you've caused him. The pain you've caused his wife. Why would Harry sit there with people whom he accuses my family of playing a huge part in the loss of his unborn child? His and Meghan's unborn child. As you all recall, in the Harry and Meghan docu series, we heard from Prince Harry. He said, that he believes because the stress that was caused to his wife by the actions of the Daily Mail. Harry firmly believed that that is what made or caused Meghan to suffer a miscarriage. Why would Harry sit with an editor of the Daily Mail being seated there to discuss the future of raw reporting. My family, <laughs> come on. Seriously. And my family, before the beginning of the debate, the panel moderator, Camilla Tomeni Zalaya, read out a number of quotes from Harry about the media, including the raw family had gone to bed with the devil and the claims of leaking and plotting of stories. And Camilla Tomen is a liar while dreaming, dreaming about Harry said that, and I quote, so we know where one member of the royal family stands. <laughs> Camilla is bitter, so, so bitter that Harry exposed them, exposed the royal family's toxic, corrupt, unethical relationship with the UK tablets. The royal family had gone to bed with the devil. She can't stand or accept that that is what Harry feels about them. That Harry describes them, the tablet media, the carnival of so-called experts as the devil. Harry even described this so-called royal correspondents as the carnival of so-called experts. No wonder I use that word so oftenly. You know, I love what Harry and Meghan said about them because that is exactly just who they are. And my family, so Prince Harry has spoken publicly a number of times about his views on the tablet media in the UK as well as taking legal action against publishers for libel and also alleged unlawful information gathering by the UK tabloid media. And at the conference, one carnival of so-called expert working for the Daily Mirror called Russell Myers 
This person, you know, was also racist towards Bibi Archie. Defended the media's coverage of Prince Harry and Meghan. Saying, when Meghan first came on the scene, it was overwhelmingly positive. That's what Russell Myers said. But what he won't tell you is what they did. Is how is why is it that Harry, if the coverage was so so positive as they said, why is it that just a couple of days into their relationship becoming public, Harry and Meghan's relationship, why is it that Harry had to issue a statement condemning racism against his then girlfriend Meghan Markle? Why? Why? I mean, my family, this carnival of so-called experts like Russell Myers are lying. If it was positive, why did Harry issue a statement just a couple of days into their relationship becoming public? Why? 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 Why did Harry issue a statement condemning racism against his then girlfriend Megan just a couple of days into their relationship becoming public. Why? If the coverage was overwhelmingly positive. Stop lying. I mean, stop lying. For once, just stop lying, my family. Stop lying. My family. And during a question and answer session with people who represent the UK tabloid media. Camilla Tumini Zalaya said a question that she wanted to ask Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh, was what he thought of Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah Winfrey. Adding, and I quote, I'm not sure that that would be printable. So they know about the racism of the late Prince Philip. They know about that. And my family, they know how he was. Because I recall even the Times, the Times itself, had an article after the late Philip passed away. Saying that they enjoyed, and I quote the words at the Times, at the Sunny Times, and I quote, they said, they enjoyed Prince Philip's racist gaffes at the time. That was what appeared at the Sunday Times. So they wanted Harry to come there and attend the event. To do what exactly? Tell them not to be racist? <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. Seriously. My family. We have to be serious about this. You know? This carnival of so-called experts are really, really, very, very much not well in the head. They're not well. Now, this debate also covered a number of other controversies, including Jeremy Clarkson's heavily criticized column about Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. The Sun tabloid apologized and said, claimed that it deeply regretted the article in which Clarkson published a vile, vile, hateful column targeting Meghan Markle. My family. And let's not forget that the Queen Consort had a party with Piers Morgan. Jeremy Clarkson, people who abuse Meghan Markle. Right before Jeremy Clarkson published, wrote and published those, those vile, vile, hate-filled comments about Meghan Markle. Never forget that. Confirming what Harry said. 
that indeed their own family are in bed with the devil. But somehow, Camillus, when he's alive, editors there really thought, imagined that somehow Harry would come there, sit with them, or even attend a Zoom call with them. Well, that is what they've always wanted to have access to Prince Harry. That's what they've always wanted. For her to invite them to parties, to wine and dine, to play the game, to lick against other members of the royal family. For him to get good press by family. And Harry would not, will not play the game. And now, the media is like, my family, because Harry won't invite us to parties or speak to us, now, it's time we reach out to him and invite him to this panel discussion to debate the future of raw reporting. <laughs> My family, how the tides have turned. How the tides have turned. Because normally, if the tablets would have had their way, would have gotten what they truly, truly wanted, my family, you would have had or seen Prince Harry inviting the carnival of so-called experts to have dinner or at a party in which Harry and Meghan, you know, are hosting. If the carnival of so-called experts had gotten what they had wanted. If the carnival of so-called experts had gotten what they had wanted, Harry would have abandoned his wife, Megan, and son, Archie. And guess what? That will mean the royal family, the farm, William, Charles, Kate, Camilla, the heir, in this case, William, would have gotten what he's always wanted to destroy his brother once and for all. Which is something that William has wanted to do for a long, long time. But clearly, has always failed. And now Harry has exposed him as the bully, the abuser, the man who can control his temper, and William is angry about that. My family. And the media aren't doing William any favors by always saying that William is incandescent with rage. The media aren't doing William any favors by by saying that time and time again they're confirming what Harry said is memoir William can't control his temper my family so my family also the panel on what Jeremy Clarkson said said that they would absolutely not defend the column with Carnival of so-called expert called Ranika, saying that President himself had acknowledged he was wrong to write it and that it would not have been printed, printed in the Sunday Times. Ranika said that. Ranika is someone who also I've seen wants access so badly to Harry and Meghan. She wants access to know what they're doing. My family... These people want access. That's what they want. And now, because Harry and Meghan won't speak to them. Now it's them. <laughs> the carnival of so-called experts reaching out to Prince Harry to attend an event hosted by someone who Harry described as making him ill. Sick. Camilla to me is a lie. You can't Make this stuff up one bit. You can't make this stuff up. I mean, it's nonsensical. It's it's shameless. On the carnival of so-called experts. Shameless. Why would they think that Harry would attend an invite from them? From the carnival of so-called experts who are bullied and abused here and Megan. 
my family, who have played a part in he and Meghan fleeing from the UK. Why? <laughs> my family. You know, I'm happy first of all that Harry said no. I can't sit at the same table with people who, in my opinion, are not good people. Prince Harry has maintained my family. I will not have a relationship, more like a solid affair with the UK tabloid media. Harry won't have that, my family. And that is what angers the carnival of so-called experts, liars like Camilla Tomei is a liar. I can't imagine, you know, like how does Camilla Tomei is a liar even have the audacity to try and email <laughs> Harry and Meghan, through their spokesperson, to inquire if Harry can take part in a panel, you know, by the Society of Editors in the UK, tabloid media editors, to discuss the future of raw reporting. <laughs> My family, <laughs> they are so desperate for Harry to speak to them, so, so desperate. To have a relationship with Harry. Tabloids, carnival of so-called experts, you know you went too far. You went too, too far. And you drove out Megan out of the UK. But that's what you wanted. That is what you wanted. You never expected that Harry would go with her. And now that he has... My family, we are seeing your desperation. How desperate the carnival of so-called experts are for Harry to attend their events. To teach them to do what exactly? Harry has asked for fairness. Harry has already said that the problem that he has, the lies from the UK media. Are liars like Camilla Tobin is a liar, willing to stop lying. I don't think so. I don't see it one bit. My family, I don't see it one bit, my family. My family, I'm happy that Prince Harry did not entertain, you know, this invite. And did not speak to them. As Harry said, he has a zero end. Give me policy with the UK media. It's time they accept that Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. But clearly, liars like Camilla Tony is a liar will never ever accept being rejected. The tabloids won't accept being rejected by Prince Harry. They won't. My family, they just won't. My family, it's like that ex who you say, I want nothing to do with you. Actually, Prince Harry never ever had more like uh, an affair with the media. So you can't call them an ex, really. More like that person who has been so, so obsessed with you, but you want nothing to do with that person. You're not interested in being in be their friend, their partner. And they're taking it so, so personally. My family, like Piers Morgan, who claims he met Meghan Markle with no proof of a photo, anything. And he says he met her once, but believes that Meghan should, should speak to him, invite him to her wedding, you know? A sick, sick obsession, my family. And we must call it out. Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. Harry and Meghan have a zero and game of policy with the UK media. And it's high time they accept that they have been rejected by Prince Harry himself. My family. <laughs> but this story is just so, so funny. So, so funny. And shameless of the UK media. Shameless. You know? 
My family, allow me to read some comments on this, please. Now, someone called Cheryl said that Harry and Meghan said that they are not going to collaborate or cooperate with the UK tablets. So him not responding should have been expected. Exactly. Also note, they don't need Prince Harry to be on the panel to begin doing, to start doing ethical, factual journalism. Exactly. Exactly. 100% exactly. My family, someone else called Emily, say that Harry and Meghan had been very specific when they stepped back as senior members of the royal family. They will not deal with the UK tabloid media and the rotter. They won't. My family, someone said that so it was a bunch of clowns crying because Harry blasted them on the world stage. Of course, he wasn't going to respond to those same, same clowns. Exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Enough comments read and also enough said, my family. I'm happy that Harry and Meghan are maintaining to what they've said. Zero engagement with UK media. Good move, Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan will not wine and dine with the devil. The carnival of so-called experts and the UK tablet press. My family, with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever group on YouTube. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, Libertana, and Doria Raglan. And all of you members of the squad at home, stay tuned to our next video. Love you, always and forever. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.